Hi all, my name is Catherine Fraser Reilly. I'm an associate professor in the library's teaching partnerships unit at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. And on behalf of my colleagues, other state action team representatives from the state, I'm happy to share with you about some goings on related to OER in the state of Nebraska. Five representatives from our state plan to join the summit in January. In addition to me, these include Billy Cotterman from Nebraska Wesleyan University, Melissa Gomez and Brad Severa, also from the University of Nebraska at Lincoln, and Michelle Reeves from the University of Nebraska at Kearney. The larger Nebraska State Action Team includes individuals from other higher education institutions within the state. In addition to individuals from the state's Library Commission, the Coordinating Commission for Post-Secondary Education, and Nebraska's Department of Education. In this brief presentation, I'll share about some of the work and planning happening at our own institutions, in addition to some ongoing and upcoming statewide efforts. While there are exciting things related to OER going on at our various institutions, at this stage, we're not aware of many coordinated projects, efforts, or initiatives at the statewide level. So our group is eager to have a chance to gather in January to learn, network, and to explore and discuss possibilities. One opportunity we look forward to exploring is the very recent addition of higher education communities within Nebraska's existing OER Commons Hub. With support from MEC, the state has secured a three-year agreement to add up to 10 higher education-focused groups to the state's already robust community and collection of materials and working groups, to this point geared toward the K-12 arena. We're looking forward to discussing, exploring, and envisioning how we might use and engage others in this hub. As far as our individual institutions go, four of our five representatives in attending in January work at the University of Nebraska system, which includes campuses in Kearney, Lincoln, and Omaha. While we made efforts to check in with colleagues at other institutions about updates to share, our small group is most acquainted with current and upcoming OER-related work within the University of Nebraska system. UN campuses have funded OER seed grant programs for a number of years, saving students close to $12 million system-wide to this point. Funding for these grants varies across the system, however, and there are concerns about sustainability, especially in the midst of financial challenges at both the campus and system level. The NU system benefits from an increasingly active community of practice focused on OER and other affordable content initiatives. Community of practice members recently formed working groups that will coordinate outreach and events, relative, relevant policy and practice, and research respectively. Also within the past two years, NU campuses have worked together to implement a course marking system, which will soon be supported by cohesive branding that will integrate into our campus's registration systems, hopefully making it easier for students to identify courses with no and low cost learning materials. Colleagues at Nebraska Wesleyan University have recently advertised and advised on open pedagogy projects in first year classes, conducted sessions and upper level courses highlighting open access resources, and created guides focused on OER and open access scholarship. At Hastings College, the institution provided students with all their textbooks from 2019 until the current semester. Faculty were encouraged, though not required, to use OER as a cost savings measure. Starting this semester, the college no longer provides textbooks, though faculty are still encouraged to use OER to save students money. The Hastings College Library provides a substantive OER guide and regularly offers training and consultation in this space. Looking ahead for our state, in addition to our opportunity within the Nebraska OER Commons Hub, at the NU system, we hope to improve our course marking process and timeline to ensure courses are marked prior to enrollment, and we hope to develop more comprehensive communication, promotion, and outreach plans for students, academic advisors, and other stakeholders related to course marking and to OER. At our individual institutions and at the state level, we hope to strengthen our capacity to communicate about and advocate for OER adoption and support. Along these lines, we're interested in considering and investigating potential communication and connections within our state government. How can MEC help? We appreciate MEC's ability to connect people invested in the space from a variety of institutions across our state. We will continue to appreciate MEC's support to help us advocate and promote OER to a variety of audiences, including students, faculty, administrators, and perhaps government officials. There's also interest among our group in connecting and creating community among smaller higher education institutions doing our OER related work. 
Thanks for viewing this presentation. We look forward to seeing you in Chicago.